I don't. I like to at least prove to people that it's not just me making stuff up. This is a. I, I got a Black's Law Fifth Edition in front of me, page uh, one sixty seven, under Born Alive. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm going to read something that that, that will actually prove that the product, the, the stuff that came out after Baby Curtis, is also is is the problem. It's the problem that uh, Mandel House spoke of. It's Born Alive. This is the this is the uh, definition. Being the product of conception after complete expulsion or, or extraction from mother, irrespective of the duration of the pregnancy, which breathes or shows any other evidence of life, evidence of life, such as beating of the heart, pulsation in the umbilical cord, or definite movement of voluntary muscles, whether or not the umbilical cord has been cut or the placenta is attached. But here's the key line. It says, each product of such birth is considered live-born and fully recognized as a human person. A human person. So everything that came out of mother, besides me, is a human person. So the waste material legally is a human person. Now tell me that it doesn't fit perfectly into the biological property, the registration of biological property. By the way, there can be no paper on me. There can be no paper on Curtis, because that would be a document of slavery. The birth record is not on me. It's an event. It's a record of an event, not a thing. Remember, this whole talk about, uh, what I'm going to talk about tonight is the, what? The principle of the thing. What I'm describing right now is the thing. The thing. Remember, names are for things. I'm describing the thing, and it's the biological thing. Now, now ask yourself this. Did that material that came out of, uh, out of mother after me, is it possible, was it even capable of, of self-sustaining um, life? Did it have a heart, lungs, brain? Did it, did it breathe? Did it do anything? No, it absolutely did not. Did it, did it, was it alive when it came out of mother? Absolutely it was alive. But was it going to stay alive? No, it wasn't. In fact, if you look up the, the uh, definition of decedent, all it means is dying. So that, that afterbirth material, that waste DNA, that was dying the moment it arrived. It was a decedent the moment it arrived, a legal decedent. It was dying. And what did they do with that? Remain, the remains, the stuff that was left behind as abandoned property. They gave it a name. And that name was the name that was uh, on the paperwork that my mother, as author, but my mother filled out, Curtis Richard Kallenbach. Curtis Richard Kallenbach. That's the name of the afterbirth material. No, the, the funny thing is, does that material match me? Does the afterbirth match me? Well, there's two sides to that. Number one, the chorion, which is my exact, well, it's a twin genetically, but obviously it didn't turn into a twin. It, it, it became something, it became afterbirth material. But, but that's the, the, um, the fetal afterbirth, which is called the chorion. That does match me genetically. But what about the maternal placenta, the paternal, or the, 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 the maternal, I'm sorry, the maternal afterbirth? No. That is pure product of mom, and that does not have any biological father at all. So depending on how, what, what, what they do with that genetic material, Curtis Richard Kallenbach, I've been told this, by the way, is female, genetically female, which means it's, it's, it's a product of mother alone, a product of mother alone. Think about that. When, when, when dad lays with mom, when his sperm fertilizes mom's ovum, that action right there, um, that's, that fertilization, that zygote that's created, that's the whole thing right there. But when that zygote, when it gets planted in, 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 in the, 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 the uterine walls, mom creates all the other material around it to feed oxygen and, and everything else, and nutrients. That's all mother product. There is no biological father to that. Does it remind you of anything? Like, I don't know, the story of Jesus? I'm just I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> so so when this biologic this this fatherless afterbirth material, which is pure mom, think about this: pure mom, no 
biological father. It's an immaculate conception. No, bi- no earthly father to that other child, which they even legally call born alive. Each product of such birth is considered live-born and fully recognized as a human person. But that one that came out after me has no biological father. It's pure mom. Pure mom. Anyway, um, I'm just, what I'm trying to do is I'm pointing out that my mindset, I was no longer stuck in, in the, the idea, in, in the, uh, um, what I've been told or what I've been taught. And slowly but surely, uh, everything started to, to, to make sense to me, um, even biblically. 